This segment of Domarva Life is brought to you by Tidal Health. Love is in the air this Valentine's Day. It's a wonderful feeling rooted in your heart. So how about we make sure that that ticker of yours is in tip-top shape. Here to help with that, Dr. Richard Simons, who is a cardiologist with Tidal Health in Seaford. Good to see you, sir. Thank you Thank so you. much. Yeah. So you're here to talk about uh, 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 cardiac rehab. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that in a second. It's National Heart Month. Mm -hmm. um, how prevalent is heart disease in men and women? Oh, very, very prevalent. I mean, it's the leading cause. Uh, cardiovascular disease and stroke is the leading cause of death in our society. People will suffer an event, a cardiac, uh, a, a heart attack, myocardial infarction, or cardiac arrest. And then, fortunately, we can help them today like no, never before. I mean, we can put in stents and do bypass surgery, but after the smoke clears, then what do you do? Right. And then what you do is you try to rehabilitate yourself. There is a disease process that has accumulated through your life. You've got the disease. We've got you through the crisis. Now we have to try to reverse that disease process. So cardiac rehab, basically, we get you in a program to try to reverse atherosclerosis, so the plaque buildup that's been going on for decades doesn't continue. So um, often tied to cardiac rehab is pulmonary rehabilitation. Uh, how is, how are they different? Yes, well, the, the heart and lungs are connected, obviously, oh, okay. but pulmonary rehab is more for people who have lung disease. Okay. They have COPD, cr chronic lung disease, or other types of lung disease. I'm a cardiologist, so I don't know too much about that. <laughs> but, but they're separate things. That yes, work together. Uh, yes, they've combined cardiovascular and pulmonary rehab. I think more because they do similar things: yeah. exercise, education. Um, you know, for the cardiac rehab, the the key components are an exercise program. We want to get you fit. Nutrition. We want to get you on a healthy diet, a Mediterranean-style heart-healthy diet. We want you to reduce your risk factors. We want you to quit smoking. Right. We want your blood pressure controlled. We want your diabetes under control. We also want to educate you about your disease process so you know the signs and symptoms of heart trouble. Cool, yeah. So the goal is to, to, to re-strengthen the heart? Well, there's a lot of things going on. That once you have a heart attack, which is some sort of heart damage, the heart can heal itself, remodel, mm -hmm. um, and medications help with that but you also want to get your body in shape because that helps your cholesterol levels, it helps your blood pressure, it helps your sugar, it helps your heart heal in a way because your body's now in shape and that takes stress off your heart. There's also a psychosocial aspect to rehab. In, during the rehab program, you meet and interact with other heart patients. And it's, it's reassuring to know that other people are in the same boat. And you know, you talk about things and, so your stress level, anxiety level is reduced after your cardiac rehab program. Okay, so I followed the program. What can I expect? Am I going to get back to where I was physically and emotionally before the event? Good, good question. A lot of that depends on how much heart damage you've had, okay? okay? If you've had a small to moderate sized heart attack and your stents or bypasses are, are effective, right. yes, you can get back and we, that's, you know, I, I explain to patients, that's why you've got the stents and the bypass, to get you back to, to you your work. life. Okay. So you can play golf and tennis and what have you. Yeah, very, very, uh, the, that should be the goal, to gotcha. get back to your lifestyle in a healthier way. In a healthier, a healthier way. way. And it's all yeah. medically supervised. Yes, we have skilled nurses. We're, our program and, and Salisbury's program is accredited, American Association of Cardiovascular and Pulmonary Rehab. Um, stringent requirements. Uh, we've met those requirements since 1987. We started our rehab up in uh, Seaford. Um, so yeah, very, very uh, comprehensive program. Yeah. Got so much more that, that we want to ask. We're out of time, but before you go, can you give us some quick tips about how to take care of the ticker? Well, lots of fruits, vegetables, fish, chicken, nuts, um, whole foods. A, just a fundamentally healthy diet, not a lot of processed foods, okay. Yeah. okay? Be active. American Heart Association recommends 150 minutes of exercise per week. That's 30 minutes, five days a week. Doesn't have to be vigorous, it can right. be moderate. But if you pay attention to your diet and you do a moderate amount of exercise and you don't smoke, right. you, you're 
ahead of the game. Yeah. You're treating yourself well. There you go. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Doctor, oh, for coming in. You're, you're welcome. Very important during sure. 